Hi guys, another request on a tutorial on how to use my Zutter to do my books. So I basically have a guide that came with my um, Zutter. If anybody would like a copy of the pages in this book, um, I will be more than welcome to take copies of it and send it to you. Um, it goes down to detail of like six inches, uh, six and a half, and how many, it tells you how many holes um, for each thing, and I will get it out to you. But today I'm working on a six inch cover, so it's telling me that I need ten holes. Um, this is a particle board, and there are canvas covers that came from Zutter itself. Um, here's the packaging of it. Um, yeah, just canvas, art boards, and there's six by six covers. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. That's where I got it from. Um, and here's Zutter Products. There's their website. And then binditall.com. So I'm going to do the back side now of this book. So what it tells me to do is it needs 10 holes. And I'm just following the instructions it tells me. It says adjust the guide to C for cover. And you see on the side here it says um, what each letter means. Open, uh, continuous, cover and inner pages. So I'm putting it at C on the side here and then it tells me to adjust this thing to be open. I don't know if that makes a difference. It looks like it lines up there anyways but so I'm going to do this other one, and I'm going to take my board and set it in there, just like that, up against it, and it's on uh, cover, which is C. Now this is going to be a little hard for me to push down because, um, again, this is particle board, so it goes right through it, but you need a little... <laughs> but it cuts it right through it. I mean, I'll take it out here and show you. See? It cut right through it. I mean, it's particle board. Alright, so now I'm going to open this up again and I'm going to move this down to continuous, which is B. So I slide this down to B. You see here? The little arrows on B and it has this little knobby thing here. Now you're going to put this knobby thing in your third hole coming out this way. <clears throat> so I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to count three. I should I move it back a little bit? <clears throat> One, two, three. And then I slide it forward. Oops. moving on me. So slide it forward so that little nub squeak thing sits inside my third hole on my cover. You see how that goes? Okay. So I want to do that and then I want to punch it again. <laughs> so there's my last set of holes. So I'm going to open this up. See, there's my last set of holes. So now I have a little space up here and a little space down here. Do the same thing for my pages. Um, I'm making this book for a friend so she can alter it and then um, maybe she'll send it back to me. So I just have <clears throat> six by six cardstock or, or a chipboard 
that I recently got, and it tells me to put the chipboard at five and three uh, three sixteenths, um, thirteen sixteenths. Um, but I just left them at six by six, so I would have the same size pages all the way around. Well, actually, this is actually smaller than a six by six. I see why. See how it's sticking out at the bottom there? So I have to cut some of this off. All right, so I'm pausing this here, and I'll be right back to cut these down smaller. Okay, guys, I am back now. So I changed the size of my pages to 5 and 13 sixteenths size to fit in my 6x6. Six six. These are not a 2x6x6, six six, so they will fit inside my book here now nicely. So I have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pages here, and I'm only going to do two of them on video, and then I will come back and do the binding. Um, Alright, so the next thing we want to do is open our things here to open, these little levers here to open. And then we want to put it to D, which is here, put the arrow to D, which would be um, inner pages. So we're going to slide my chipboard in, into D. We're going to punch. Okay, so there's my holes. Now I'm going to open it, slide it out, one, two, three holes, slide it in, that little knob thing again. See how that is there? The little knob on the end. Okay, and then I'm going to punch again. Now I have my one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten holes. And slide it over to C. No, what was it? Um, inner pages, which is D. I'm sliding it in all the way against the guide because it'll stop you from going all the way through. And then I'm going to punch. Open it up. Slide it all the way to A, come out three holes, one, two, three, slide my little lever over, to continuous, which is C, and then punch again, push this away, and then there's my ten holes. Okay, I'll do one more on video. Okay, so over to D which is inner pages, put it in, in, down, hold it down, and push it against your lever thing here, your guide stopper, push it down, okay, open this up, all the way to A, slide your paper down to three holes, one, two, three holes, slide this in to that third one, it will end up on C, which is continuous, and that's where you want it to be. And then you punch one more time. Okay, push this little lever thing back, and then there's your ten holes again. Alright, I'm going to do the rest of the pages, and then I'll be back. Okay, now I'm back with all my pages already cut. So what came in my kit as well is I have these little pieces of plastic that has like a guide of all of the sizes of your rings. This thing here, your, your binding. So what I usually do 
is I already know what size it is because I have it written on the box so I don't throw the boxes away is that you can line it up on here to measure it to see what size it is so this one is saying it's uh, 3 fourths and it's which is 19 millimeter and then like this one see it's too too big so this is 3 fourths of an inch and it goes all the way down to 5 sixteenths um, I don't have anything that smaller. I usually stay with a uh, half or three-fourths size. I think I might have um, the one-inch, some of the one-inch ones. So those are the only ones I use. And then what you need to do is you take your three-fourths inch and you can put it in the guide here. Oh, my hand's in the way. Sorry. Put it in the guide here where you're going to bind it. And you could slide this lever up to where it's supposed to be. And to double check, make it straight. To double check, it should bring you up to three fourths. There's going to be a, the lines at the, whoop, at the bottom here. You see those lines? It should bring you up to three fourths where you need to be. Okay, so you could do one or two ways. You could put it in here and then just make sure that it's up to three fourths, or you can just line it up in um, in here. And it's putting it the line. There's like a little lip on the ends here, so it's putting the line right up against that that little lip thing. So it's supposed to be in the inside of that, not before it or after it. It's supposed to be up to the 3 16 or 3 14 Okay, or 3 fourths, whatever. So this is my binding and I need 10 of these things and then I gotta cut it, which I might have to use just my Tim Holtz scissors because I didn't bring my pliers up here. All right, so I need 10 of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and I'm going to cut in between these two here. So there's that. Now I have this left over for another book. So this is the one that I need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, I can't count today. I swear. I need to go back to school. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you want to count on this side because this side is going to be short. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. This is only going to have nine on this side, but you want to count these rings here. Okay? So, to bind it, go back to my little handy dandy book, and binding your project, and then the continuation. So, what it's having me do, so I'll just put some of this stuff out of the way. So it's having me put my back cover and my front cover facing each other, okay? And then my pages on the inside. So I get all my pages, and I have my pages in the front and my books in the, or my covers in the back facing each other. And I'm gonna feed it through. So that this end is on the outside of my pages. So I'm going to feed it this way through my pages. Okay, so now I have all my pages in there and my my covers. I want this on the inside by the this on the side of the pages, and then you want this on the side of the covers. Double checking. 
Yes, that is correct. Then, you're going to get these in the center. And you're going to face it down. And there's like a little lip here in the middle. You see like a little dent there. So you want to have your pages right where those are over that area. And you're going to hold your book up. Have it sit resting on the base of the bottom here. Bring it, line it up with the first I'm trying to see if I'm, my arm's in the way, I'm sorry. There's a this thing in here. See this little lever here? You're going to line your first row of um, your um, binding right here. So you're going to have like one of these right on the edge there. Make sure you've got it really good. Keep the pages in the center. Oh, hold on. My thing's out. Not out. I lifted it earlier. To move it out of the way. Alright, I gotta adjust again. Alright. I'm ready to go again. Okay. So I'm going to line it up there, making sure that my pages are in the center, and then I'm going to squeeze. Okay? And I went all the way across. Okay, open. Bring it down a little ways, and then squeeze again. All the way. And double check. Make sure it's all the way down. Okay, so now when I go to open my book, hopefully, there we go, all done. So now all of this on the inside is holding the pages here, see here? You want to have it line up to here. You don't want to go too far with it. You want it to just, just barely touch the center wires there. So then you can turn your pages. Let me turn nice. I should have probably decorated my pages but I, before I put it together, but I'm sending it off to someone to alter. So there's that. Oops, sorry, I hit my camera. So um, if you want a copy of this book, it gives you how to uh, tips and everything. Um, it goes up to your ten and a half or ten and a half page up to eleven and a half. Uh, book to 12 inch even 12 inch covers so it has all the information of what each thing is and then um, the description of what you know it has everything in here so if you want a copy of this um, you can PayPal me at the this email down below um, I am just asking for shipping so if you can do like a buck fifty because I don't know how many pages it's going to... Actually, we just make it $2. Because I don't know how much it's going to be to get all of these on um, paper and copying them. And I will... They all have page numbers on them. So I will try to maybe fit it into a book. Oh, this must be the little, little book binding. Let's see. There's a little one. Yeah. This binding right here is this one. It's tiny. And I don't have that one. Yeah, see how there's... It just goes up to the, the edge there. You can see... So it's barely just touching it. Um, yeah, so $2 to my PayPal, which is down below. Um... I'll put my PayPal uh, address down below, and um, yeah, just two dollars to send it, and that will pay for postage and then my time for co copying it. Um, what I might do is um, copy it once and then probably go to Staples and copy it multiple times, or I might have to go to a different place because Staples in my area closed down. So. 
I hope that was helpful, Irene. Um, if you have any more questions, just let me know. Um, as far as these things, if you don't have this, I'm sure you can go to Zutter and order replacements for them. And I showed you that website at the beginning. Um, and I don't use, usually use anything else. I mean, I can use chipboard for the covers and stuff like that. But this one I wanted, I had these canvases for a while. I didn't want to use it up and try it out. So there is my book. So I'm excited. I think it's cool. So take care, guys. Thank you for watching my videos and commenting below. Take care. Bye-bye.